One thing I wanted to talk about today is how to organize the back end of your truck. This is one way. I know you'll see a lot of videos out there on rollout, exotic cabinetry in the back end of your pickup. I just found that they took up too much space that I needed for tool storage. So I went and uh, I checked out Inside Carpentry with Spencer. He's got a great video on using the Milwaukee Packouts. He uses a uh, sprinter van, so he's got the space to go up where I don't. Um, so I went with the rigid system, and their boxes are very well built. I've used some for several years now. I'm very happy with the construction of them. I just needed a way to organize uh, better, so this is what I did. So I have my table saw right there usually, and you can see behind that I've got my miter saw on wheels on the DeWalt DWX 726, I think it is, with my extension wings that I made on another video. But today I'm just going to talk about this part of the truck. My compressor. So I use the Rosso table saw stand and that's stowed right back there. So I've got a division of about seven inches that handles that and the outfeed table that I made for it. But on this side, I needed to store all my small tools and hardware that I need for my jobs. So this slides out very easily. And then I've got the stackable rigid toolboxes. I've got everything labeled as well, cocks and adhesives, uh, small nail guns. This is hardware that I use for cabinet installations. That's a lot of what I do. So it all stacks together. And all I did was I took some of the Home Depot's three-quarter inch pre-finished plywood and I made two layers. So one slides back and forth and it may be a hack job for most of you watching but I thought when I finally got these finished they didn't slide that smoothly. And I have this shuffleboard powder uh, to reduce friction. I just sprinkle it in between I haven't had to take it out and redo that and I've been operating with this for about a month now so it stays in there and it does a really good job of uh, letting you slide the two pieces of wood against each other. So as I made this top board that slides, I took a Forstner bit and I milled out a two inch recess for the legs of these rigid toolboxes to sit in so they don't slide around at all. So I've got this detent right here. It stops at four feet. Those pieces are four feet in depth. So it stops right there against it. I've got this side contoured to follow the lines of the fender. And that's, that's my Rosso stand, and they slide in and out past that real easy. That locks into place. That locks into place. So that gets most of my tools uh, that I used to carry in individual pouches and their cases that they came in. Um, 
That's great, but this seems much more organized. I don't have to move as many cases to get into a house now to do a job. If you're like me and needing to use a pickup truck, I'm thankful that I have a topper so I can lock things in the back end. I used to carry a lot of tool cases and tool bags in um, and had shelves mounted behind my passenger driver's seat. And, uh, but the problem was I could never carry passengers uh, and uh, I wanted to. So I reorganized the back end. I left some things at home in my shop that I don't use on a regular basis and I can still carry those bins and put them behind the seats um, temporarily uh, and it's easy to remove and, and carry around if I need to. So um, the back end organization was my goal and I saw all kinds of YouTubes on rollouts for the back ends of pickups, um, elaborate setups and some of the guys have done great jobs of organizing using ball bearing slides and uh, I just needed something uh, a little less cumbersome uh, something I could adapt if I needed to down the road something that didn't take up so much bed space that I didn't have room for the rest of my tools that I need so this is the system I came up with it was easy to make in an afternoon um, I use the shuffleboard powder in between the two boards uh, to lessen the friction and that worked out amazingly um, and I haven't had to replenish that uh, in between the boards so uh, maybe a hack but it works for me and uh, you know at my age uh, I'm not going to be in this forever so I wanted something um, a little less elaborate uh, something I could take out easily if I needed to use the back end of my pickup for other things so um, I really like what I what I've done uh, to the truck in the back end for the most part this year check out my other videos on um, rolling miter stand extension wings that I made uh, the table saw I use the Rosso uh, table stand table saw stand and I made an outfeed table that works great for that so I've got a couple other videos out there but Anyway, my business is not making videos, and I'm never going to make money off of them, but if I can help you, um, then so be it. Hopefully you can learn from it and maybe adapt your style of what this is. Homecraft Solutions signing out. Until next time.